guys I'm back so I was just playing around with the new one that we just worked on and afterwards I was like oh I got to do one more thing how many of you are like that <laughs> it's like delayed reaction just putting it all together first of all I noticed that when I was showing you it all done I had forgot to put the little shovel in there which is just too cute to forget I love the little shovel so I stuck him in there and I was setting it up which I really like this sign up above. So I think I'm gonna keep it there and this is gonna sit off to the side. I like the little sign there and I'm gonna put more decor in there. Um, but it got me thinking of for spring, why not do a butterfly that's gonna be part of this too? So I grabbed one of the butterflies from the butterfly cutouts. Hi Allison, welcome, welcome. And I'm gonna take my blue Posca pen and I'm just gonna color him all in blue to start off with. And I haven't tried chalking over a Posca, but we're going to do it today. Let's see how Chalk Couture works over a Posca. Now, guys, I am going to use the butterfly cutouts from Chalk, or the butterfly um, transfer from Chalk Couture. If you want to do free hand work on your little butterfly cutouts, by all means, um, go for it. I'm just not that skilled. <laughs> Hi, Thelma. Um, but... I do want to tell you that I don't personally sell Chalk Couture. I love Chalk Couture. I use it all the time. Um, so many pieces. But I don't actually sell Chalk Couture. So there's that. If you're looking for a link, I would be happy to stick one in the comments. Um, or you could say you're looking for a designer that you want to get, you know, one of these transfers. And a lot of my followers are designers. And they will be happy to help you out. So you can either message me or... Um, just put in the comments that you'd love to get your hands on this transfer and somebody would be happy to help you. Probably shouldn't be doing the whole antennae thing in blue, but I'm going to anyways. Okay. So now we just got to let it dry. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Christy. Hi, Jean. Welcome, welcome. I was just live a few minutes ago and then I had a last minute idea. So I sent out the, um, the text message again. Hi, Karen. I sent out the text message saying um, I'm going live again, <laughs> twice in a row. But uh, I don't know if everybody's realizing that, yeah, I'm really doing it again. Or uh, you got to sit and watch it. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. I appreciate you trying to watch in the grocery line. <laughs> um, so I sent out the text message. If anyone else wants on that text message list, um, I'll post the number, the, let's see, while I'm drawing this, can I multitask? Can I multitask? I don't think I can. Let's see, without burning myself. Oops, that's not right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the number that you can text the word live to. Um, you'll get a response after saying just um, to respond with your name, but you have to wait until you get that automated thing. Um, and then you're on our text list. And so every time we go live, we let you know. Hi, Christine. What's the weather like in Alberta? We have a beautiful day here today. What's it like out there? Okay, so I just took one of our butterfly cutouts for everybody jumping on. Um, and I used the blue Posca. You can see it's, that's the color it looks like. When I hold it up, it looks way more green. But the color you're seeing right there, that's the color. I have never tried chalking on top of Posca yet, so we're going to try it. I'm going to take my butterfly transfer. And I'm going to peel it back. Actually, maybe I should actually cut this one. Let's, let's close up the glue before I go wrecking a transfer with some glue. That would be bad. Um, grab my chalk scissors and let's see if I can just cut out this square. One thing, the chalk scissors are perfect for doing this. I was like, scissors are scissors, but no, chalk scissors are actually really good. For if you're just cutting out the transfer, but you don't want to cut out the back of the sheet. Just don't go using them on other products because you'll wreck them. I've done it. Okay, I'm going to grab my Chalk Couture transfer. I'm going to remember to use a fuzzing sheet today. Hello, hello. 
Susan, welcome. Put a little min wax on that. Yeah, I get that. Some people say to wax. I'm not a big fan of waxing. Um, I do love using a salve, um, but because it's got a beautiful smell and it gives it a nice shimmer, but I'm not a fan of waxing. Um, I know with a lot of paints, you really do need to wax or fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. So far, I've been chalking over top of um, Country Chic Paint. That's what we have on our website. I love this stuff. It's got a top coat built in, and I don't have to wax. There's Sometimes I forget to fuzz, and it works well, too. <coughs> but I haven't had any problems. It hasn't been stretching my transfers. It, it's been working perfect on the, on the um, Country Chic without waxing. Now, let's see. I'm just going to line it up like that. Now, my wood cutouts, when we make them to match the transfers, they are made like just a fraction bigger than the actual transfer. And that's so that there's enough stickiness so that it holds itself down. I should have grabbed some black paste, but I didn't. Dang. Because his center should have been black. Just a second. Let me grab it. It can't be far. Sorry about that. Just had to run to the chalk cupboard. Okay, so I'm going to take my multi-tool and I'm going to try and do his body first. And yes, my paste is not the creamy dreamy. It's still the old recipe. We're getting close to the end and then I think I have a creamy dreamy already to go. So I'm just going to chalk the center piece, if I can, without messing it up. I think I need a smaller squeegee. I've used this multi-tool so many times that it doesn't have the stiffness like it used to. So I'm going to take one of my mini squeegees that I cut up into tiny, tiny pieces. And I find that works better. Just gonna concentrate here for a second, sorry. I've got a little excess on there and I can't just squeegee it away like I normally would. This is where like the tiny details, right? There we go. So if you're looking for any of our cutouts, um, you can find them on our website. We do ship all over Canada and US. Um, I can sell to designers because I am not a chalk couture designer. I just love chalk couture. Um, and our prices on the website are in Canadian. So if you're in the States, you're going to find it's a nice surprise when you get to check out because it's actually less than it was listed. And that's because of the exchange rate. So it's out of my hands. It is what it is. And it's apparently a happy little surprise for you guys. Ooh, Beverly's here from Maine. Yes, I've heard with acrylic it pulls up bad. I have heard that. I don't use acrylic too much. I'm a, I'm a chalk girl. I love chalk paints, chalk paste. I love that dull matte. If I'm going to add um, some gloss to it, I'll add um, like a resin over top or glossy accents. Or um, what's that other stuff we were using for a while? Triple thick. Love triple thick. If I'm adding, adding gloss, I kind of go for more of that glassy look. Yes, I live in Canada. I'm in Ontario. Now I'm going to take Shimmer Frost. I love Shimmer Frost. Guys, is Shimmer Frost still a product that's out there or is it, um, is it gone now? Was it just a winter thing or is it an all the time thing? Somebody tell me that's a designer or that knows chalk products better than me. Shimmer Frost. Is it an all the time thing? Is it still there? Or is it something that's from the past and I've I've made people envious? Hopefully not. I probably should be going on live or online first and checking to see what products they still carry because I still use a lot of the oldies. 
And I still make cutouts for the oldies too. Because I figure if I still have them in my closet, other people still have them in their closet. Like when we come into the bee season, guys, um, Brittany's coming on Friday and we're going to talk about when we're going to, when I'm going to have all the bee stuff up. But when we go into bee stuff, we're going to start digging out all the old chalk bee stuff too. And we're going to have cutouts to go along with those. So it's going to be like a whole new take on your old transfers. It's going to like new, it's going to be like new. Okay, so I put my excess back into the jar. Close that up because I don't need it to get any thicker than it already is. And then we're going to peel and reveal. Oh my gosh, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. And see, I didn't peel up any of that blue. So Posca's worked well. I think it's because it soaks into the wood more than acrylic. Acryl acrylic tends to lie on top. And Posca soaks right in. And so does the chalk paint. The chalk paint really has that bite that grabs in. So. There's new shimmers. Ooh, what's the new shimmers? I'll have to go look. I will go look. But there is my butterfly. Isn't that pretty? So that's done with a blue Posca pen on our wood cutouts. And then we did black down the center. And then the shimmer frost. So, I'm going to let them dry up. And like I said, for anyone just hopping on, I do not sell Chalk Couture. I only love it. If you're looking for a designer, I'm sure one of these girls would be happy to help you out. Just post below. I'm looking for a designer. Designers, please. Just a little dot on. Oh my gosh, yes. And that's the chocolate or butterfly on there. Done on one of our cutouts. I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? I know the light is not great right now. I'm trying to get where you can see the yellow better, but I can just jump on your website. But thank you so much. Um, I have made up a lot of stuff. So I'll be sure to take that out. Um, so, what do you think? Girls, I do want to put your hands on the house. No, I don't want to put them on the house. I don't want to break things off often. And I can't say things. I don't want to put them on the house. But it is what it is. So, this was our live today. We did the wagon add ons and the spring sign that hooks onto the side of your wagon if you want. But I kind of like it better up there. And then I had to pop back and do the butterfly because I just think he's too stinking cute. You know what else would be really stinking cute? If you are into the rustic and the primitive look, you probably do a lot of that stuff with wire. You know how you coil the wire around your pencil or something? If you did that and attached it, you know, on the back of your flower, 